Hey Builders, Brick Radiop here with another Citizen Brick review, this time the punk bass player or DD Ramon from the Ramones. This figure is another one of the ones from their releases on Citizen Brick Day 9. You can see it has their brand new packaging, which is red. There have been other colors like dark blue and green. On the side, just some words about Citizen Brick products. Premium collectible minifigure, and on the back, there are just some words also about Citizen Brick. All Citizen Brick pieces and figures are printed on legitimate Lego and use pad printing, which is the same process as Lego. So let's get the punk bass player out of the packaging and on the stand and take a quick view at it. The punk bass player here on the stand. You can see they have a really great amount of printing, especially on the legs and a custom molded guitar that is made by Citizen Brick and also printed, which is a Fender. And this guitar was also present on a previous figure they made, Sid Vicious here. The hairpiece on this figure was originally created for Danny from The Shining. A little tight on there, but I got it off. Custom molded. Getting the guitar out of the way just to get a better view of the figure. The guitar itself can be held by the neck, though it can only be really held at the one angle as it slips out. And if you force it, you could probably get it to be held on the side as well, getting that out of the way. Again, great printing on this figure. Lots of intricate line detail. The studs on the jacket and their metallic silver are really nice, along with the belt buckles there. On the side, you can see that it has some zipper printing, which does look to be the same as the Mad Max figure, actually. So just a simple little reuse there. Though this figure does have that extra gray line there that is not present on the Mad Max. Mirrored on the other hand. Back, simple, uh, with the belt printing continuing and some shoe design, which is really great wrapped around. Same with the belt. Straps on the jacket continue. The hair is custom molded by Citizen Brick. It's a, a little tough to get off actually, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's good to have the piece to stay on the figures. The hair piece was originally made for Danny from The Shining and it's just a 70s style haircut. The Ramones didn't have very many distinct looks, as they were just one of those more generic punk bands. You have your leather jackets and your ripped jeans, whatever combination of shirts, whether they're graphic tees. In this case, on this figure, the striped t-shirt. There's an iconic photo of the band with all of them wearing the striped shirts and the jackets. And just creates a character that really could fit in anywhere. Uh, you could use it in a music setting or just as a generic character uh, for any city you have and I just think it's kind of fun to have a iconic musician like this I think the their custom guitars are really cool and if you want this figure it's still available on citizenbrick.com if you like seeing custom lego figure reviews like this and other lego builds please subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video